Jesus, Son of God. Only you can save me, suffering on the cross. You gave your all, willingly paid the cost for me. Now I am free to worship Jesus. You are my healer, oh Jesus. Touch me and I will be free. Lord, by your stripes I am healed. I am healed, oh Jesus. You are my Savior, oh Jesus. You are my strength and my shield. I put my trust in your name, in your name, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit, for giving us divine elevation through your word this day. Thank you, Lord, from the bottom of our hearts for what this day you have prepared for us to celebrate and enjoy. Lord, give us power for maximum achievement throughout this day. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lord God, give us the tongue of the learned. Give us receptive heart to receive and cry my intellectual scriptures. And Lord, above all, Blessed hands. To do your work. In Jesus name. Amen. Beloved in Christ. It is very important for you and I to understand this spiritual dynamics that a renewed mind will lead to a righteous way of life and enable us to avoid the effects of an unrighteous way of life. God has made us righteous with his righteousness so that we can live righteous life. And the reason why each and every day we need to honor and lift up the name of Jesus, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And above all, even delegating his authority through Jesus Christ, whom he has given us a gift. And even we, the disciples, including the disciples of old, can use the name of Jesus to distinguish ourselves from all others by his authority. And above all, delegating his authority to you and I as his disciples. And even beyond description. Another delegated authority is the use of his word. 
But then, beloved, we cannot use the name of Jesus Christ if we do not know him and we cannot know him if we do not know his word. Just as Jesus lived and ministered in the power and authority of the word, so also must we live and minister in the power and authority of his word. His promises are contained in his words. When our hope is in him, he will renew our strength and we will experience his power. We will soar on wings like eagles, we need to see and accept ourselves as the people of the word of God. For the word of God says we are. And above all, he has given us his spirit. The word and the spirit work together. It is the spirit that gives life to, to his words. How awesome and privileged for many Christians of today to put their faith in the Word as well as the Spirit. The Word without the Spirit and the Spirit without the Word cannot fulfill God's purposes. Today we encounter many people who claim to be Spirit-filled but do not know the Word or who claim to know the Word but are not Spirit-filled For an effective ministry, we need to know the Word and be filled with the Spirit. It is not enough to know that with His stripes you are healed. You also need the Spirit to manifest that healing in your situation. Remember, wherever Jesus goes, he demonstrated me remarkable power, a power capable of many wonderful things, but he's known above all else as the power to heal. He heals a man with an unclean spirit disrupting worship in the synagogue. He heals Simon's mother-in-law, for the Bible says that in Mark chapter 1 verse 31, he says that so he went to her. He says, Mark chapter 1, 30 to 31, he says, Simon mother's-in-law was in bed with fever and they immediately told Jesus about her. So he went to her and took her hand and helped her up. The fever left her and she began to wait upon the Lord. He heals Simon's mother-in-law. He casts out demons and heals diseases. He takes people by the hand and raises them up. I prophesy this morning that God will release and must release. And I pray for God to release His presence of power to bring healing to your emotions. Jesus, Lord. cast out demons and heal diseases. He takes people by the hand and raises them up. No wonder everyone is searching for him. It is that we search for. In Jesus too, isn't it? Healing of body and spirit. We pray for God to take fleeting illness away. We beg God for cures of cancer. We yearn to be healed of many forms of brokenness in our lives. Our relationships, even the world. We ask God to take away all kinds of pain. And when the time has come, we pray for the ultimate healing that only death can bring to free us from those things that can never be cured and take us to that realm where mourning and crying and pain will be no more. It will never be there in heaven. No. It will be a heaven decorated with especially the streets decorated with gold and diamonds flashing forth. Don't be busy with the world so that you can't go there. Everyone is searching for you. They search to Jesus. And anyone who has ever prayed for healing understand their sense of urgency because we know 
what it's like to long for the healing Jesus offers. Beloved, you are serving a God, a compassionate God who always is the fountain of healing, deliverance, dominion, and above all, discipleship. Will you allow him to disciple you so that he uses you mightily to the extent that one day you see yourself being used by God to deliver people. Think about that and think through it. God bless you. Bye. Lord, your name is great. A refuge I can run to. A shelter from the storm. A faithful friend And I can depend on you My God My King I lift my voice And worship Jesus You are my healer Oh Jesus Touch me and I will be free Lord, by your stripes I am healed, I am healed. Oh, Jesus, you are my Savior. Oh, Jesus, you are my strength and my shield. I put my trust in your name, in your name.